Hello everyone, you're welcome to GB Fashion World. Hope you are good. Today I will be drafting out this tube dress with a contouring method. So I'll be showing you how to use a contouring method for your tube dress. So if you want to see how I drafted out this pattern using a contouring method, please watch this video to the end. And give this video a big thumbs up if you find it very interesting. If you have subscribed, thank you for subscribing. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. So let's get started. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll be making use of my half scale basic bodies. And this is the back part and this is the front part as you can see I have input all the necessary horizontal measurement as you can see what I mean by half scale basic basic bodies what I mean by half scale basic bodies is that it stop at my waistline on my waist region so but it's just for the purpose of this tutorial while drafting yours you can make yours a full scale basic body so you can make yours a dress you can make use of your dress pattern so i will leave the link uh, on the description box in case you have not watched how i drafted out this basic body so i'll leave the link in the description box below so you go wash it out and know how to draft out a basic so this is my back parts and I've added my zipper allowance to it so this is the boss point in my waist my front basic bodies has underbust but the back parts we don't need underbust for it so first to start First, to start, we will determine where we want the tube dress to start from. Like, like I usually come down by 5 inches because I don't want it to be exposed. I don't want my bust to be exposed on my... So now, I will come down by 5 inches. So I will mark 5 inches and that's where my tube dress will start from. So with my ruler, I'm going to connect the line. So I'll be taking half of my bust pan measurements. To get your dots, you need to measure your bust pan measurement. What I mean is my nipple to nipple measurement. So for mine, I'm making use of seven inches. Divided by 2, which is 3.5 inches. So I'll take 3.5 inches at where my tube dress starts from my burst point, my under burst, and my waistline. So I will connect the line. As you can see, I've connected my line. So at my burst point, I will come down by half an inch and go up by half an inch. You can make yours one inch if you have, if you are your busty, you can make yours one inch up and one inch downward. At my waistline, I'll be taking one inch at both side for my dart. I'll be taking one inch both side for my dart.
then I'll connect my dad's leg like we used to do in our normal basic body. So I'll connect my that leg. If you if you look at it, you find that I do not take any I do not take any that like I do not start measuring my underburst, taking that at my underburst because I'm making use of contouring method. So we'll still look at that our underburst to look at our underburst tightening. So just wash and you understand how to contour your underburst. So at this point, I'll be taking one inch at both sides for because I want my two dress to be tight. So for you to tighten your two dress, you need to take one inch. Take one inch at the both side. So with my so it's my French curve. I will be connecting the dabs. You can make use of your straight ruler, but I like making use of my French curve because I want that part to be curved. I don't want it to be straight. So if you don't have a French curve, you can make your make use of your free hand. You can use your hand to draw the curve. So I will be using a curve ruler to curve it. So I want that curve. So I'll try to blend this point because I don't want to have a pointed edge at my burst point. So I'll be taking my across across front measurement. If you want to take your across measurement from your shoulder tip, come down by five inches and measure your across front measurement. Mine is twelve inches. And since this pattern is on fold, so I will be dividing the 12 inches by 2, which is 6. So my across front is uh, 6 inches. That is on, on fold is 6 inches. So I am taking across front because I want the, the tube dress to be relaxed on my body. I don't want it to be exposed uh, to expose. Or like to be kind of free i want it to be tight on my body so it's usually advisable it's very advisable you make use of your across body why across front sorry why drafting out your why drafting out your tube dress so i will add back my two inches for the dart i'll add my two inches from that for the dart. So from that point, I will connect my new armhole curve. From the this point, I'll be connecting my new armhole curve. I've connected the curve. This is my new armhole curve. Did you see it? So that's my new armhole curve. So I will take my neckline since I've already come down by five inches. You don't want your neckline to be very deep. So I like I want to make use of 1.5 for my neckline because I don't want it to be very deep. So it all depends on how deep you want your neckline to look. So I'll be taking 1.5 inches and with my curve ruler i'm going to connect it note you can always make use of your i'm making use of my curve ruler but you can still make use of your free hand while cutting you can you can make use of your free hand to connect your neckline but making use of this french curve and did you see how it look like So I'll be taking one quarter of my burst measurement at my chest line, which is 34 divided by 8, uh, sorry, by 4, 8.5. Um, my, I'll add 1.5 inches for my sewing allowance. 
is optional you can add any sewing allowance of your choice so from this point i'll be connecting my arm uh, my tube dress you know it, if you look at the pattern we are working with so this is how it should look like you can make use of your, of your free hand you can make use of your french curve or any curve ruler that you have so from this point i will connect with a curve like this to meet the new armhole did you see it i'll connect with a curve so at my waistline, I will take one quarter of my waist measurement, which is 27 divided by 4, 6, and 26 divided by 4, 6.5. Then I will add my dart allowance, which is 2 inches. Then I will connect it from this point. I will connect it. That's the point my actual measurement then i will add my third when you are done adding when you are done taking one quarter of your bust measurement and your waist measurement and you have connected the line so for the contouring you will come to your under bust and take one quarter of your bust measurement mine is um 28 which is divided by four is seven inches so take your take one quarter of your your under bust measurement then add the dart the that the your dart add the dart allowance like this add your dart measure your dart and add it At this point, then so measure the excesses that is left at the underboss when you are you are done inputting your what, what don't inputting one quarter of your bust measurement and you have added your dart allowance. Measure the excesses and share it at both sides of the dart. That is how to contour your underburst, or you can call it uh, underburst tightening. So measure the excesses that is left is three quarter of an inch. Then I will add it equally at both sides. I will add it equally at both sides. This is how to contour your your underburst, your underburst, or to tighten your underburst. So I'll be adding it and I'll be sharing the SSS at both sides. Can you see what I did? I've shared the SSS at both sides. No, no, mine is three quarter of an inch is depending on how much you are you can have up to one inch you can have up to 1.5 so with my curve ruler i'll be connecting it i'll be connecting it from the half inch below my bust point to that point like this and half inch below my bust point to the right side like this the, your excess your excesses can be up to one inch 1.5 inch depending on how your body shape is so it's mustn't be a quarter of an inch just make sure you get your accurate your accurate um under bust measurement so it's my cuff ruler i'll connect that that to the waistline with the cuff part of my ruler you can make use of your straight ruler but i like making use of a curve ruler i just like making use of it so i'll connect it like this but you can still make use of your ruler like draw a straight line instead of curve so make sure you connect it back to that waistline
to sorry back to that waist that leg connect it back to the waist that leg did you see it so it's now equal so everything is now balanced so we'll go and add our sewing allowance at our underburst and our waistline since we have added our sewing allowance at our bar um our burst so I'll add my underburst sorry my sewing allowance which is 1.5 inches and i'll connect it As you can see, the front part is already ready. So it's ready. So I'll be cutting it out. So when you are cutting it on your fabric, remember to add your sewing allowance at the upper part. Sorry, your joining allowance at the upper part of sewing allowance. In case you are turning it in with a bias or with a lining, so add your sewing allowance so i'll be It's very simple and easy to draft out so I will open it up for you to see how it look like did you see it and that's the final look for the front part so we'll be drafting out the back part also it's very easy and simple so why cutting your fabric at your sewing joining allowance at this side and also add the neck line region add your joining or sewing allowance to it don't forget to do that so your pattern will not be shortened so my back part will start at my chest line the reason is that my front side seam started at my chest line so my back part will start at my chest line this place is my chest line so that's where it will start from so with my lula i'm going to extend my chest line to the zipper area So at my bust point, I'm going to take my dart, half of my bust, my bust pan measurement, which is 3.5. I'll take um, half of my bust pan measurement. So I'll connect it like this. So at my under my rust point I'll come down by one inch. At my wrist line I'll take my dart one inch at both sides. Then from the burst point one inch below my burst point I'm going to connect my dart. So I'll be taking my across back measurement. My across back measurement is 14 inches divided by 2 is 7 inches. That's my across back measurement. So I'll be taking half inch on both sides because I want the back part of my tube dress to be tightened. So I want it to 
tight we don't want it to be loose so we'll be taking half an inch at both sides just to tighten the back part of my tube dress so we're we'll connecting it like this So I'll take my, <coughs> excuse me, I'll take my cross back measurement and add my one inch for the dart. I'll add it on it here so it's balanced. So we're taking, a f I'll take one quarter of my bust measurement and add my sewing allowance to it then at my waistline i'll take one quarter of my waist measurement add my dart and i'll add my sewing allowance to it too then i'll connect all the lines as you can see i've done i'm done connecting all the lines So for the waist, for the front, the back part and the front part, my waistline for the front part is 15 inches while my waistline for the back part is 14 inches. It's so because of the bust. So at my zipper part, I'll be shortening my waist, my waistline by one inch so that it goes back to the 14 inches who the 14 inches the normal 14 inches when you measure your front waistline and your back waistline is not the same thing so because i did not take my brush that i'll be going i went up by one inch to connect it back to the waistline but another method is by taking your brush that at your front waist at your your front bodies you can take your brush that and it will come back to your normal back waistline so because i do not do that i decided to shorten the back part with one inch because my back part my back waistline is 14 inches from my shoulder to the waistline is 14 inches while the front part from my shoulder is 15 inches that's why i shortened the down part with one inch but you can always make use of your bust that to shorten it to shorten the side seam of the front part i already have a video on how to cut a princess that was there with the bust that so you can check it out so to eliminate the bulge at the zebra part i'll go in by half an inch and connect it back so the pattern is a uh, is ready so i'll be cutting it out for you to see how it look like turn everything out so i'll open it up for you to see it so this is how it look like when you're done cutting it out so the back part is ready so this is how it look like This is how it look like when you're done cutting it out. So I'll take my neckline. I'll take my neckline because if you want a straight neckline, always make sure you slant it at this point. So I'll be slanting my neckline. What part of my tube dress is ready? Mm -hmm. 
so I'll be using my front part to check how it will look like when I'm done joining it in case if I cut it on my fabric I want to check how it will look like so this is the side scene of my front and this is the um, side scene of my back so this is how it will look like when I'm done joining it so we are still accurate in what we drafted out so this is how it will look like when you're done joining it so is ready do you see how it look like so as you can see the patterns are ready ready and it's very easy to draft out if you will follow all the steps so what are you still waiting for please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video see you guys in my next video thanks for watching